Another Hollywood marriage bites the dust this morning. Richard Gere and Carrie Lowell, they're calling it quits after 11 years of marriage. They've reportedly been separated for months. Gere and Lowell have a son well, together. That's shocking. <laughs> a well, marriage who is not she, to anyway? work. You know? yeah, I, she no. kind of looks vaguely familiar. Yeah, maybe an actress? Yeah. We'll have to look it up. Okay. Okay. Well, there's an expensive piece of real estate on the market in Washington State. The bungalow itself may not look like much, but it's the childhood home of 90s rock icon Kurt Cobain. Estimates put the house worth about $67,000, but Cobain's family is listing the property for a whopping $500,000. Cobain's parents bought the 1,500-square-foot, four-bedroom home in 1969 when Cobain was just a toddler. He lived there until he was nine years old. Cobain killed himself in his Seattle home in 1994 when he was 27. You know, I don't think they're going to get 500,000 for no, that house. No, he didn't live there like it's his entire. It's worth 67,000. Yeah, and they're wanting okay. 500. But he didn't live there his entire childhood. Right, right. I mean, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I think they're trying to get more money. Yeah, maybe maybe they'll get. 68. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Well, Gary Sinise, who's well known for his role as Lieutenant Dan in the movie Forrest Gump, made a large donation to the Black Forest Fire Department in Colorado. He donated nearly $60,000 to the largely volunteer-based fire department that lost many expensive pieces of equipment. That's including radios and fire hoses. A local wine seller is also donating a dollar from every bottle of wine sold and for each like on Facebook. It's up to $50,000. And as you remember, in 2012, right. Gary Sinise and his Lieutenant Dan Band, they were um, in Centertown for a concert for, to benefit Operation mm -hmm. Tyler, which was for a Fulton veteran who was shot and paralyzed at war. Right, so, that's, that's a great deal, that foundation. Yeah, he's a great guy, always yeah, so raising money and doing mm -hmm, things. Done this around the country. So, yeah. <laughs>after months of self-imposed silence, Lamar Odom is now speaking out. He took to his Twitter page to defend the Kardashian clan and trash his birth father. This comes after Radar Online published an interview with his estranged father who bashed Lamar's wife, Chloe, and the rest of the Kardashian family. Chloe and Lamar have been bombarded recently with rumors and speculation about their marriage falling apart and of Lamar's alleged drug problems. So, and I did see the Twitter comments back and forth, and Lamar is standing up for her and calls the Kardashian family his family and says they've taken care of me and they're the mm -hmm. one group of people that have not asked for something in return. Right. So, Been very supportive along the way, yeah. it sounds like. Hopefully well, that's good news for their marriage, that things are on the mend. Yeah, it's, I can't imagine how hard it is when you've got the rumors flying as such a public figure. He did acknowledge in some way that something's going on and said, made a comment about this as being his uh, dark time. Yeah, I'm so. sure, you know, people, everybody, go, well, not everybody, but a lot of couples go through these things. The ups and downs. Different, I don't know, scenario maybe, but he's just a normal guy. Yeah. All right, well, Melissa Joan Hart, not so normal. She's explaining it all in a new memoir, her life. The former Nickelodeon child star, also famous for her portrayal as Sabrina the Teenage Witch, gives a sneak peek of her upcoming tell-all to Life & Style magazine. Hart opens up about a not-so-wholesome side to her girl-next-door image, revealing past exploits, experimenting with ecstasy at the Playboy Mansion. Whoa. Yeah. And according to Life & Style, fesses up to past makeout sessions with celebrity heartthrobs like Jerry O'Connell and Backstreet Boy Nick Carter. Oh, a little right. racy. Yeah. She tells all, I guess. She does not age. None of these Hollywood folk age. I think some I wonder of what them they're have using. A we need to surgery. <laughs> Not what all is of them, going on with him? Yeah. Well, Breaking Bad is wrapping up on Sunday, and we now know where Walter White is headed next. CBS says Brian so Cranston is coming back to How I Met Your Mother. Cranston will reprise his role as Hammond Druthers, who was Ted's old boss until he had a meltdown. It's a real change of pace for Cranston, who plays teacher turned meth maker Walter White so on AMC's Breaking Bad. The final different. season of How I Met Your Mother began Monday. Yeah, that's been a big hit for a lot of uh, people. They yeah. love it. Quite the change, though, from meth maker to that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. His career still probably has some really cool twists and turns to it.
I think so. I was looking, I think, didn't she play, that was Clarissa Explains It All, wasn't yeah. it? Do you remember that yes. from Nickelodeon? I think that's who she, she was also, yeah, but I, on She Friday is nights, the reason that nobody used to get my name right in elementary school. Because they thought it needed It was an Clarissa. Yeah. I just started accepting it. I used to watch Sabrina yeah. the Teenage Witch on Friday nights, like, thought that was cool. She's okay. Had a, no, it's really true, though. She's had a great career, but she doesn't look any different. Anyway. No, she's scandalous, apparently. Well, here's a look at what's ahead on... There she is. Here's a look at what's ahead on CBS This Morning.